darlings welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel so please hit the subscribe button if you get to do so so today i'm going to be showing you my 12 hour stay in ethiopia so i'm actually heading to um, zanzibar in tanzania but i had a 12 hour plus layover in addis ababa and this is what this vlog is all about yes so this is me just leaving the airport heading to the bus that would actually take me to my hotel you do not spend any extra money for any of these things actually everything will be provided to you by the airport so i did not even pay for the hotel so i was very livid when i was being told that i was going to be having like a 12 hour layover so my travel agent actually told me this after she had booked the flights she told i was she told me also that i was going to be given accommodation which i actually had my doubts about okay but when i got to the airport they actually gave me an um accommodation slip and i was so happy so yeah this is us just heading to the hotel it's like five to ten minutes away from the airport actually so very close to the airport and yeah i left all this part in so you guys can just see how beautiful ethiopia is i was so so very impressed guys it's so beautiful so finally we arrived at the hotel yeah 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 and this is the hotel and when i got here my, my jaws dropped like how this is so pretty so let's ask myself like how much did i pay for the flight that i was going to be staying here like i don't get it i don't get it make it make sense actually <laughs> but i was so 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 happy the hotel was so beautiful guys so i think if you're going to be having a layover in addis ababa and you're going to be given accommodation please tell them you want skylight i heard a lady actually request for skylight when i was at the airport so please make sure you request for skylight i think it's like one of the best hotels they can actually put you in in addis ababa for your layover so yes i think this is so beautiful compared to the one i stayed in while coming back to nigeria this is amazing guys so yeah come see my room with me since we're already here guys this is my room and this is my room for the night are you kidding me it's quite quite small but i didn't expect this this is my space for the night and have a shower. I want you guys are really fit actually. This is so pretty guys. So pretty. This is me. My stressed out face because I'm so stressed out. Let me look for the lights and then I'll switch them on. Okay, found it. Hey. I'm so stressed out. Yeah, another mirror. Don't video. <laughs> okay, so yeah. This is me. This is my fit. This is not I think this is what I should have showed you guys first. Because. Ooh, it has a balcony! You kidding me? You kidding me? You kidding me? What? This what the hell is this? Guys, let me look. Look at this magnificentness. You kidding me? Huh? I'm in love. So in love. Reaction, like just like my initial reaction. And I was excited, you could tell. And I still am excited. I love this hotel. And I'm like, the last thing for the shower, just so that when you're taking your bath, your partner can watch you naked, if you know what I mean. And this is me again, mother mirror. And yeah, this is the TV, which trust me, is not going to be coming on. But I think someone is going to, okay, if I don't close the curtains, if I just have this blind, this day blind, people are going to see me in there naked. And we don't want that. We don't want such. <laughs> me again part of what i look like i just checked my slip and i found out that they're giving free dinner you know this girl she's gonna get that dinner so i'm going downstairs for the buffet so you guys just come along with me i'm not very hungry but i just want to see what it looks like and i want to show you guys also so you guys can also see what it looks like okay 
come along. I'm so excited and I think it's very obvious because I was so sad when I heard that I had a layover of 12 hour plus. I was very angry. I wanted to even just book another flight entirely. But ooh, I'm happy now. Like, this is what I get for the layover period. I am ecstatic. I have to just go eat right now, then come back and sleep so I get some rest before my flight tomorrow. Okay, Mwah. bye. <laughs> So I eventually found the restaurant after roaming around for a bit so yes yeah, so they had things that actually looked familiar I mean they had rice they had veggies they had um, fish even though I will never go close to the veggies because I don't eat veggies <laughs> but they had fish they had things that actually looked familiar which was actually my fear getting here I thought I'll just be seeing foreign food things that are completely like alien to me but what i saw looked familiar they had like a dessert stand they had a fruit stand strawberries watermelon cakes oh my god i was so impressed i mean the um the service here is quite good it's quite good i think if this airport was in Ni if this hotel was in nigeria it will cost a whole lot and the fact that i was staying here for free i was i was surprised like i was still in shock <laughs> trust me i was still in shock so after roaming around the uh, restaurant i settled with this i got rice and um this beef stew and then i got fish at the side and yeah this is the seat i sat on and this is the view from where i'm sitting they have huge windows guys huge windows so nice I must come. I want to show you guys everything. So this is the left. This is the height of the window and everything. And this is outside from where I'm sitting. And this is what I had left in my plate when I was done. I could not eat the fish. It was like, I don't know. I couldn't eat it. And this is the dessert I got. So guys, I just came out from the dinner and the food is not terrible. So I just feel like every culture have a particular spice or group of spices that they put in their food to give it a taste that is unique to that culture. I don't know if that makes any sense because when I went to Dubai, everything I ate, not everything actually, that's exaggeration, but most of the things I ate had this particular spice that I cannot place. I don't know if it's saffron. I don't know what spice that is, I must confess, but they had this particular spice that all the food tasted of and yeah it's not a bad thing per se but when it's foreign to me it's just all i taste when i taste the food basically and yeah so right now there's this spice also that i can taste in their food and yeah it's just it's not just i'm not just used to it my taste buds are not very used to it and i think as nigerians we also have our own spice like i literally believe that we do have a spice that our food tastes of but because of the fact that we're used to it we can't really tell but i think when a foreign person tastes our food they can tell and i think the spice may even be pepe because nigerian people like pepe they like spicy food <laughs> even when i got the dessert i couldn't really eat it i think the thing also is that i'm not very hungry so I think that also contributes. So tomorrow I'm going for breakfast. You bet, sure. You bet I'm going to be going for breakfast. Uh, we have the bus coming to pick us up by 8.20. So I want to make sure I'm up by 7. So I can go for breakfast, be ready, and just go. You guys are going to see me in this shirt again. Because I did not bring clothes I was going to change into. I do not know why that skipped my mind. And yeah, my flight for tomorrow is going to be just two hours, two hours plus, so it's not a big deal. So you guys will see me tomorrow. You know I love you. You know I love you so much. <laughs> guys, after this video, go and watch my Zanzibar video. Make sure. Okay, you guys can't do that if I've not uploaded that one yet. <laughs> guys, so it's like 
past six and i have not slept a wink i barely slept a wink. i slept a little but i have a ton of things bothering me right now and can i list them at least them first off this door So I don't know if you realize, but I've locked it, but previously it was not locked. And that door leads to another room. And imagine someone just coming into my room from another room um, to see me laying here. That's just going to be a disaster, I swear. So something just said, check the door, check where it leads to. I checked where it leads to, I opened it and it was not locked. And it leads to another door, which leads to another room. So I don't know the possibility of someone actually coming in. I'm terrified, I must confess. <laughs> Second of all, I have nasal congestion. I don't know, my nose is just blocked. I can't breathe properly. Third of all, I think I just need a new environment. So I'm not just comfortable. I'm just, I don't know. This is such a beautiful room. I should not feel like this. But okay. <laughs> mm. Just lie down. So since it's just the door, just two doors actually um, separating me and the other room, I can actually hear the person in that room snore. So I'm trying to reduce the volume of my voice because I think they can, they probably may be able to hear me also. I can hear the person snore and that person had, um, was throwing up this morning. Tell me why I have such information. Why? The person is brushing their teeth right now. Why should I have this much information? I should be sleeping. I should not be having this much information about the other room occupant. I should not be having this information. I do not even want to have this information. It was forced on me while I was being deprived of sleep, which actually made me deprived of sleep. So yeah, it's, it's not correlation, it's causation in this matter because because of all the noise I'm hearing from the other room, I cannot sleep. You get it. <laughs> um, yeah, and I don't know why my nose is blocked. I really can't say why is my nose blocked. <laughs> and I just think that the, this room is cold. Ethiopia is cold, actually, which is quite surprising because it's an African country. Yeah, so this room is quite cold. I think the, the air in here is quite dry. That's why my nose is blocked. So I don't know. I'll soon go down for breakfast. I tr I'll try sleep for like 30 minutes, even though I know that's impossible. And if I manage to do so, I will not be I will not want to wake up any longer till like noon or so. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try. I'll catch you guys later. Today I'm going to Zanzibar. Can't wait. I would have loved to show you guys around the city, like gone around, but basically I can't because I need to go. Okay, let me show you guys. Let me draw the windows and show you guys. Who don't want one in short? Uh, so, yeah. Okay, it's morning. Okay, it's morning and it's cold, guys. Look at the fog in the air. This place is cold. Cold. You can see people moving about the day. This is so beautiful, actually. So this is like the only thing I can, I've managed to eat. It's like white chocolates. So nice, my girl. 